these faces here, these are the actors that are in the play, and these guys here. I've already told you their song names in, a, in the previous vlog. Have a look at that one. Anyway, I'd like to ask these guys some questions. Thought it might be interesting for the audience to kind of get a bit more of an insight into what's going on. So let's have a nose. I'm going to ask a question. Here we go, number one. So how's it been going? We've had the rehearsal, the performance. How's it all been going for you? How are you guys feeling at the moment? Um, really exciting. I'm really enjoying this production. I like um, I like how modern it is. Uh, I like the Mad Max style. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's been. I think it's been really, really, really fun. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It hasn't. It's a long play, but it has never felt as long as it is. You know, I enjoy coming to work every day to see people. Everyone's really lovely. It's just been a really nice vibe, genuinely. Yeah. And also, because it's not one of the like well-known Shakespeare, so um, we can do whatever we want with it. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. And it's been really, really fun. I mean, we're all a bit tired because we had the understudy mm. run last week um, and now we're doing camera rehearsals for the live, so we're a bit tired. Also, I wanted to ask as well, obviously I'm the deaf actor that's been involved and been dropped in the mix. How is the experience for you? How have you been feeling about it? How's it been going Terrible. on? Terrible. We've really... <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're a brilliant actress, so it's been amazing working with you. I love your choices, and yeah, I love what you've done with Cassandra. Very exciting. Yeah, it's been it's been I, it's been fascinating for me really to watch to watch you work. Every time you know I, I see the two scenes that you're in, it's spellbinding. I think really it all kind of just goes. And you can't help but focus um, on you, and I think it's wonderful. And Oscar as well, <laughs> got to get him in there. He's a legend. Oh yes, I agree with that. Yes. <laughs> um, so obviously, I have my scenes with you, and um, which is great because we worked out what we would do, and um, like you know, you gave me said like beats of things would actually quite be quite good as a deaf person when a, when a hearing person is speaking to you how you would communicate obviously i don't know bsl but i've learned picked up bits of things just so our characters can actually talk to each other as well so that was really cool lovely i also want to ask obviously as a deaf actor do you feel that deaf could mix uh, easily with a hearing ensemble or is it problematic or how do you feel about it from your experience in rehearsals from when we first met all the way through what, have you, what are your views on you know deaf people working with hearing people like we have done you know some people may not realize or may not have no insight into what it's like working with a deaf professional from your perspective I, I, I think this I think the way that we've done this production is a perfect example of how well it does work I, I, it should really happen a lot more because it brings a completely different aspect to any show um, and immediately shakes things up and puts you out of your comfort zone as, as a non-deaf actor um, you know having to work together to reach where the scene needs to go um, together and that's a different journey I mean I'm not involved in any scenes with you but just to watch how you guys have done it it's been amazing and yeah I think it's, I really hope I get to work with you again or other deaf actors it would be, it would be brilliant to yeah. do so yeah yeah indeed it's not actually, once you know, once you understand the deaf culture, it's not different. It's just, um, I mean, we, we've got to put up with you. <laughs> 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 um, but like just having moments of, if during rehearsals, having that time for things to be translated, it actually helps for other people to also take that in as well. So I think in rehearsals, sometimes we, so want to get to having the play on that we don't give it time and yeah so it's not better actually oh, that's yeah good. That's all the all the kind of shared responsibilities we have to have together like when it came to the, the technical rehearsals um like there were extra beats that had to 
um, we, we had to kind of make sure that you knew where we were, where we were starting from, and um, it's important for to respect that. Um, and I feel that, like, if if more deaf actors were involved, that that would be more of a thing, and yeah, and it would become easier. Yeah, it's very easy work. <laughs> and my final question to you. Obviously, you know, the show will soon be finished, which is really sad. Mm. <laughs> I feel sad anyway, I feel sad, I must say. Yeah. Mm. Have a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. At least. <laughs> <laughs> What are you feeling? Obviously, we're going to be finishing the show soon. Have you got any other work lined up, or what's next in life? Are you anything, or how are you feeling about next? What's happening next for you guys? Any auditions coming up, or any plans? Um, well, I'm I'm writing some sketches um, with some with a sketch group back at home that I used to be part of. Um, we're called All the Milkman's Children, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> And um, yeah, we're doing sketches based in my hometown of Paisley. Um, so yeah. Cool, cool. I haven't got anything lined up. I'm looking forward to a bit of a bit of a rest afterwards. But I'm I'm not kind of looking too far ahead. I'm just trying to enjoy it while while it's while it lasts. Um, and you know, enjoy the last week and a half that we all end together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Same for me. It's been great. Um, I am doing a little bit of um, research and development for a new play straight after this, but only for a very short time. But what I'm really looking forward to, to is having life, because I'm going to see my family. So I've got like life things happening. See my family over Christmas, and then I'm getting married next year, so I'm planning that. Mm. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, yeah, let's look forward to that, how exciting. Oh, it's really important, yeah, I agree, you know, obviously, it's hard to find effective life balance as an actor, it depends on the work, because it's really absorbing, and all the rehearsal process, you know, you can forget your own life, your family, and all those kind of things, it's really easy to do, and it's nice to be able to catch up again afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for this little conversation today, I really enjoyed it. So, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it too and uh, our conversation. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.